Will the LEGO Technic CAT D11T Bulldozer have both track suspension and a dual differential tank drive, making it one of the best and most revolutionary sets ever? Both of these functionalities would be absolutely revolutionary, as this is the first time ever we're getting such functionalities in a LEGO Technic set. Please keep in mind that everything except for the set name, set number, the piece count, the price, as well as the actual release date of the CAT D11T Bulldozer is purely my own speculation, however many things have led me to believe that the new upcoming bulldozer will include a dual differential tank drive as well as track suspension. If any LEGO Technic set wants to be popular, it has to have a gimmick or something that makes it stand out above every other LEGO set. For example, although the 42100 excavator doesn't have any gearboxes or other complex mechanisms found in other LEGO Technic sets, the main reason why this excavator became so popular among LEGO Technic fans is because it stands out above any other set. The main gimmick is that it's such a huge set that's also fully remotely controlled. This resulted in the set having two Control Plus hubs and seven motors, so many fans got the set just because of the electronics. With the D11T Bulldozer being a direct successor to the 42100 Excavator, it has to have some sort of gimmick besides being big and fully remotely controlled. It is confirmed that the upcoming Bulldozer will include both Control Plus and 3854 pieces, which is 254 less pieces than the 42100 Excavator. Since the upcoming Bulldozer will retail for the exact same price as the 42100 Excavator, I believe it will include one more motor than that excavator in order to compensate for the fewer number of pieces. So the new bulldozer is gonna have two control plus hubs and eight motors. But you may be asking, how could a bulldozer use eight motors? Well, let me explain. With eight motors, you could theoretically have two motors controlling the left tank tread, two motors controlling the right tank tread, so that's four just for the driving, then you have one motor controlling the elevation of the blade, one motor controlling the tilt of the blade, and two more motors for the same functionalities of the ripper at the back. In this configuration, the bulldozer would have an insane amount of torque due to the four motors driving the entire bulldozer. You could use this outside to push dirt, snow, or even pull heavy objects. Or a second possible configuration of the four main driving motors is to have a dual differential tank drive. In this setup you would have two motors for driving and two motors for steering. However, you wouldn't have the insane amount of torque of four motors, but it would still be a good amount of torque since many other LEGO Technic sets like the 42100 Excavator use two motors for driving. But why include a dual differential tank drive? I mean, isn't all of it possible with proportional steering from the software? Not exactly. No two motors are completely identical in terms of the exact speed and torque. And it's very difficult to have the same amount of friction for both tank treads on either side when you have the motors pass through a set of gears. This always results in one tank tread going faster than the other, having to constantly manually adjust for this with proportional steering. A dual differential tank drive would completely eliminate this issue, since whenever you go forward, the steering motor pair would just remain stationary and it would not engage. Another reason for why a dual differential tank drive should be added is that it is simply a fascinating mechanism mechanism, which in real life vehicles allows for uninterrupted steering and driving. At the core of LEGO Technic are mechanisms, and a dual differential tank drive in an official LEGO Technic set would be absolutely legendary. But what about track suspension? That is, suspension in the tracks themselves. There is actually one main reason for why I believe it will have track suspension. In the 42100 excavator, most of its pieces go into the top superstructure, resulting in a relatively small chassis. However, with the bulldozer, the vast majority of those pieces would go into the chassis, with a small amount going to the blade and the ripper. This will result in abnormally large tracks for a LEGO Technic set, and these tracks would easily have more than enough room for suspension. Track suspension also allows for much better playability in rough terrain, and these larger LEGO Technic sets work very well outside. Another LEGO Technic Summer 2021 set which could come with some incredible mechanisms is the Mercedes-Benz Zetros tree. If you would like to learn more about this set, then click on the video right over here. This is your Unbreak Me Here, and I'll see you in the next one.